Let's talk about the runtime for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania real quick. So the runtime for possibly the most important movie of Marvel's Phase 5 is 2 hours and 5 minutes, and that set some people off. But to be honest, I don't blame them. Aside from Wakanda Forever, the previous films had a very similar screen time and both were disappointing. Now on to the more positive aspects, Quantumania is the longest movie of the Ant-Man trilogy, because the previous two movies were exactly 1 hour and 58 minutes. And the first movie was really good. Second one, it's not bad, but it could have been better. In my opinion, you don't need a long movie to tell a good story. Into the Spider-Verse is a good example. It's one of the best movies out there, and it's only 1 hour and 56 minutes long. But it's important to be cautious, though. We're getting a new trailer tomorrow at 7.30pm Eastern Standard Time during the football game, so you can make up your opinion then.